to gather in real time to connect with God and this faith community. And if you are joining us live on Facebook, I welcome you to our worship service. And if you find us later in the day or the week on YouTube or Facebook, know that you are welcome with us as a, as a faith community. My name is Kathy Law, and I have the privilege and the honor of serving as the pastor of this genuine, caring community of faith. During this time of worship, I invite you to participate with your prayers and your presence as we worship God through the way of Jesus. If you have prayers or announcements that you would like to share with this community, I invite you to add them to the chat and we will attend to those prayers and announcements after our formal worship service is over. We're in the liturgical season of Easter tide when we proclaim that life and love are more powerful than death and hatred. And today we are celebrating Good Shepherd Sunday, which usually happens on the fourth Sunday of Easter tide, but we're moving it ahead a couple of weeks. Um, where we remember that Jesus declares that he is the good shepherd, where we remember one of our favorite Psalms, the 23rd Psalm. And we remember that Jesus is the one who lays down his life for the sheep. Our liturgy and music and message this morning will carry this theme throughout our worship. As we settle our hearts into worship this day, remember that whoever you are, and wherever you find yourself on this journey of life, on this journey of faith, know that you are welcome here, that this is a place where you will find connection. This is a place where you will be called beloved child of God. I now invite Angie to lead us in our candle lighting this morning as we bring the light of Christ into our own homes. Good morning, everyone. As we light our candles at home this morning to bring in the light of Christ to our worship, we recognize that the holy ground where our church is located belongs to God, as does all of creation. The land is sacred to our creator and is the unceded ancestral land of the Puyallup tribe. As we pursue our goals to dismantle racism and attend to growing diversity, we lament the injustice of displaced persons in our history and commit ourselves to just and respectful relationships within our congregation and in our neighborhood. Jesus said, I am the light of the world. The presence of light reminds us of Jesus coming into our world and into our lives. Since ancient times, light and fire have reminded people that God is here with us. When we bring the light into our gathering to worship, we remember, we remember that God is with us wherever we are holding this presence, guiding us, comforting us, giving us just what we need. 